OK, this is example three of Bose notation. So slightly more complicated now. It's got a pin jointed frame there, a bit like the one on a bicycle, but with different geometry. So the first thing um, we've done, um, what I've done, is construct this, um, this diagram to scale. So with a vector diagram, the important thing is the angle which the force are acting. So all the forces we're going to get are based off this schematic uh, scale drawing, OK? Um, it doesn't actually matter the size of this because, um, you know, if you were bigger, it would be a similar shape and the angles would still be in the same direction. So um, another thing we've done is also, um, sorry, I've done is calculate these forces here. OK, and that's like another little mini teach. Um, so I'll give you to this time. 42.5 kilonewtons is the reaction here on the left and 27.5 is the reactions here on the right. So what we're trying to do is establish what all the compression and tension forces in all these members respectively. So the first thing we do with Bose notation is to um, label zones. So I'm going to call this zone A. I'm going to use a highlight pen just to emphasize that. So it's everywhere in that zone there. B, between these two forces, vertically downwards. Let's place that zone there. C, the same. D, I think you get it now. E, F, G. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is um, I'm going to draw this. Uh, vertical force downwards 50 kilonewtons, which is called A B. Okay, so we use a very simple scale of one centimeter is equal to 10 kilonewtons. The purposes of this video, if you want to choose a better scale, because really the bigger the better of these, the more accurate, do so. So the first one, 50 kilonewtons, that's simply five centimeters. Okay, and then it's 20 centimeters. So um, this point is point A. I'm going to use a capital letter for um, points. So B, this is C. So these reactions at the base here, uh, opposite direction. So this arrow here is called CD. So CD will be 2.75 centimetres the other way. Do this as best I can. OK, so this point now is point D. We can now check uh, that this reaction here, AD, should be 4.25 centimetres, um, which isn't quite, is it? But I'm going to continue anyway, yeah? Right, so now I'm going to start to do this other, these other members. So I've done the, all the forces downwards, OK? And the, all these members are like, reacting to those forces. So you've got AE here, which is this angle. I've chosen equilateral triangles because this is 60 degrees. And it's been far easier working out angles on this diagram here. So AE is at, uh, OK, so I've calculated it. 30 degrees. We'll draw a construction line, yay long. The length doesn't actually matter. So draw a construction line. I'm going to label that lowercase not to confuse positions with these lines that's line AE. okay the next one is bf that's horizontal so bf must go through b so I simply need to draw a horizontal line through b so that's bf okay now around to cg so again that'll be 30 degrees oops this direction. If you're good on CAD, that would be um, a good package to use. So this line is uh, C, G. So now we're on this member here, this bit here. Uh, I think it's all the under tension, so it's a tie bar. So that's D, G. So it's got to go through D, and it's horizontal. That's 
uh, GD or DG. ED. That line is also ED. Okay, so what we're going to do now is try and work out um, some points. Okay, so um, so can you spot any? So we've got uh, CG down here, GD across here. So you can see the intersect here. So that's got to be point G. Um, we've got A here, AE going up here, and ED here. So this point will be point E. Um, yep. Uh, okay, yeah. So we're now going to draw. So we've got two more points now, basically. So what, we, what we're left with then. So we've got to do EF, this member here, which would be in the compression. In that direction, the force, pressure force must be in that direction. That's why I'm drawing a line parallel here. Last of all, um, F, G, this strut here. It's got to go through um, point G. So again, it's parallel. Right, we now have completed um, diagram so the next bit is we're going to basically work out the magnitude which means the sizes of these forces okay for that i'm going to use some eyelash pens so ae is um the length of this pink line here bf going to be oh we need to find f so where's f going to be so bf um where is where is this so ef is that diagonal yeah i forgot to label that line so that will be point f is here so ef Length that bit there. FG is length that bit there. Running out of colours. Ooh. CG um, is that length there. Force in there. Size of it is that length for that. DG. There, an ED, there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they will, they will be different. I, was got, I thought so symmetry would be the same, but no, that would be right. Yes, yeah, so ED's that length there. Okay, so I'm going to do one because um, I think you'll be able to do the rest. So, what I'm going to do now is work out the compression force in AE. So, I'll get my ruler, measure this line here. You see, it's not dead accurate. Do analytical method next time. Really exciting, right? So that's about so that's about 4.5 centimeters. So AE um, is 4.5 centimeters, which use this scale here will be 45 kilonewtons. So that's a, a short video on Bose notation.